Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of The Lord of the Rings Adventure to Mount Doom. I really appreciate all your cool comments. It really seems there is some interest in this game. So I'm really happy to continue my journeys here. We just made it to Rohan, the ring bearers, that is. And there was one request, I think basically two requests, to consider the optional rules. The optional rules, they're basically two minor bullet points. The first one is in respect to the spaces here on the game board. Normally the normal mode of the game, the first character who makes it onto a space, yes, they will suffer the consequences either placing a Nazgul or suffering, let's say, a damage point. But then when the character is standing here and the rules really say you uh, put your character on that icon, the, let's say, all characters that follow that character onto the space will not suffer the consequences here. That's a rule I typically don't play with anyway. So wherever this is, this is getting triggered. That's definitely one of the rules I am considering. The second one, though, was something that I, I don't know, debated with myself for some time. And that's in respect to how many players I should consider. Again, the second optional rule is that you assign the characters, the friends here, to the players who actually drew those characters. And then only during their turn will they be able to leverage those. And there seems to be some appetite to yeah, basically play with that rule. So that's what I will do. So I will have a top player and I will have a bottom player. I will simply assign those two cards now basically Arvin goes down here, they go down here. So basically that's what we have to deal with. Gandalf cards, they are always available to everyone, no matter what. Of course, if you find the game too easy, I'm pretty sure you can house rule that as well. But okay, that's fine by me. I will have to make a decision now to really start basically a new turn. So the top player will start, so they will have Galadriel and Elrond with them. And I will take it from there. Apart from that, I think I should be very much bug free, which really doesn't happen too often. So I think let's simply go into the next round of the game. So we have to roll our two event dice here and I'm relatively certain I want to move both Legolas and Gimli further. Again, we have to bring them here in order to be supportive in any shape or form. So let's roll those dice. Mm, we have a two and a three. With a three would get Eowyn and I think that's a no-brainer. We will place the event die here. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't really matter too much. So I think we will simply go with a five for now. Then we have our second roll. Uh, again, we have to stick to the green Legolas die. And I'm now really thinking about maybe should we start moving the ring bearer again? The sooner we will get them to Helm Steep, the sooner we will get the help of Gandalf, yeah, who basically stumbled upon the Balrog in Moria. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So that's a six. We don't know what the six is. And then we have a three. Oh, oh no. Then we have a one and a one. What am I looking at? Um, a one and a one. Oof. That's now I think I don't want the one here, right? We don't want any more Nazgul. So I have to go with the ring bearer in this case. So Legolas will have to stay behind, but that's kind of okay. Let's deal with our first event and that's Eowyn down here. Um, again, Eowyn will help us if we are ever meeting the Witch King of Angmar. Right now, that's not going to happen, but for now we will keep her. It was the top player, so we will have to place her onto the top row of players. And then we have the five for Gimli. One, two, three, four, and five, not a problem. Then we are dealing with the six. We have to reveal the card there. So that's down here, and that's Urukai, and I believe we had a similar card before. Again, for every Urukai currently in Isengard, we have to conduct one fight. If we have at least successfully um, won one fight, we will be able to remove one normal Urukai from Isengard. So let's quickly do that right now. There are four Urukai in Isengard, including the leader. And unfortunately, Legolas is not helping us. So we have to conduct four fights. And yeah, we are basically out. Yeah, we have already spent Boromir, unfortunately. I think he wasn't really particularly successful. So yeah, let's see about that. So that's our first roll. And of course, it has to be Legolas. <laughs> that's so bad. Um, and I think we are moving down here. Oh, hopefully I haven't messed this one up. I think we were here. I really hope I, I was here. So let's do that. That was the first fight. We have three more to go. 
Uh, that's a Gandalf card. Again, we can't spend a Gandalf card right now. Are you kidding me? This is really, really terrible. So again, we have lost the fight. Let's bring this die down here. Maybe, maybe that's the better. Then we have our third fight again. It's Legolas. This is so embarrassing. Again, we can consider now to use Elrond. He simply allows us to reroll. But for this die, I'm not sure. Right now we are still okay. No, let's not do that just yet. We will simply suck it up. And then that's the fourth combat. And again, wow, four times. I think we in total fought six times in this playthrough. And each one of those basically was a miss. We are really not in a bad shape. I mean, four of those results are favorable. This is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. Um, this space down here doesn't really do anything on its own. There is another card that refers to that, which tells you if you are here, you would have to move down here. I think it's a Sauron card. I can't quite remember it right now. Of course, we still have Galadriel now at our disposal. And she simply allows us to move this marker basically back up to her image here. And we have to do that before a fight, actually. So right now, I think let's not do that just yet. I mean, we can't do that anyway right now. It's not before a fight, but yeah, we shouldn't really forget that. We still have one more die left. So let's move Sam and Frodo up here accordingly. And I think that was the round. Oh boy. And this is now really a problem. Playing with the optional rule means that basically the Arvan player down here will not be able to use Galadriel's help. So if we're now moving into another combat, we will not be able to heal up. This makes the game much more challenging. I mean, you already see that. It is not easy. Depending a little bit on how good or bad you are rolling, I think, again, I have lost six life points here through um, basically unsuccessful battles where this, I think it was all Urukai actually. In the end, you're rolling dice, right? What shall I say? Okay, then let's continue. We have to roll our event dice here. We will definitely have to move Legolas. And who else? I think yeah, we will continue then with Aragorn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's roll those. We definitely don't want... Oof, that's all bad, actually. That's all bad. The two are some Orc. One, we don't know, but I think let's let's see what is underneath card one, right? I mean, there must be some more friendly stuff in there. I don't know. I don't know. Let's still do that. Um, the two, I think, is okay. We can move Arago uh, Legolas into Rohan. Though we don't get anything for that because our new de uh, destination is Helm's Deep. So even if we would move him into Rohan, we wouldn't get any more uh, life points back. And then it's blue and I think, yeah, let's go, maybe not. Let's go with purple, Merry and Pippin. Okay, that's another one and we have to suck it up. What's the five? For Aragorn, one, two, three, four, five. We would lose one here. And the two here is also pretty bad. It's all pretty bad. So now we are really in a bad shape. Of course, we do have Arvin. Maybe we do want to use her right now. Or is it is it a problem? I think not. So let's go with the two. I think I would prefer a Nazgul compared to this. On the other hand, if we are bringing this down, it's all the more reason using Galadriel. Oh, no, 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 no. I have talked more wind. We are moving Aragorn. We are moving Aragorn. So let's trigger event one. And I'm as curious as you are. And ooh, it's a Nazgul. Of course, it's a Nazgul. And the card stays here and we're triggering it again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not a lot that we can do. So I'm relatively certain I will not make it to Minas Morgul or to Mount Doom. Wow, it's really not going my way. But that's the fun of watching my playthroughs here, right? Um, then we have the two of Legolas. So we are moving him into Rohan. Again, it's not our destination. So we are not getting our life points back. At least that's how I think it's being played. It's not really line out, but the rules are very specific that you have to make it into your current destination. Then we trigger this thing here again, which again means we have to place another Nazgul into Minas Morgul. And I think there is no way removing those Nazgul, at least I think, other than really defeating the Witch King of Angmar. That's the only piece with Eowyn. We have Eowyn with us, but yeah, that's, that's basically 
playing with that option rule could make it very, very challenging. But okay, then we are using the five for Aragorn. One, two, three, four, five. We are losing a life point here, bringing this one down. Three more steps and we are defeated. The ring is lost and all hope is gone. But well, that's basically the end of our round. So let's move the thing up. We are rolling our dice. I think again we are going with Legolas and um, maybe with Sam and uh, Mary and Pippin. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move over here accordingly. Mm, that's a four. Four is good. That's Eomer. That's pretty good. That's that really. Anywhere is good. That's for sure. Then we have the two. Another Nasco. We can't do that. One, two, three, four, five. No, we have to go with the five for Legolas. That much is clear. Then the two and the purple die. We will hold on to the purple die, of course. And maybe let's go with Gimli. Yeah, why not? Let's move over with Gimli. But let's try to move with Gimli. Oh, it's a two, so we have to fight. But we will get Eomer before, which could help us. And then we have the four. One, two, three, four. That's not too bad. One, two, three, four. No, we don't want to lose another. Again, I'm definitely playing with this optional rule that we are getting hit here again. So no, I think it has to be Gimli who is moving. That's what it is. Okay, let's resolve the four, which means we are getting Eomer, and he says before a fight, we can win the fight um, automatically without rolling the die. But that's the point. You can't first roll the die and then spend Eomer. You really have to make that call. And I think we may want to use him right away, actually, unless, hmm, unless, <laughs> yeah, let me think about that. But for now, we will hold on to Eomer. We are handing it also over to player one to the top row. I think it's now about time we are playing some cards there. Then we are triggering the five, so Legolas. One, two, three, four, and five. That's not too bad. And then we have to resolve the two, which in this case are those, uh, the orc party, raiding party here. And we have to fight and if we will lose, we would lose two health points. So I think we will play two cards now. Are we, are we going to do that? I think so. I think we should do that. So first of all, we will heal with Galadriel. Before a fight, we can heal, which means we are moving the ring back up to Galadriel's base. This card is gone. Thank you, Galadriel. Nicely done. And then I guess we are using Eomer and the, basically the Rohirrim. We will win that fight without rolling. So I think, yeah, let's also do that. So thanks, Eomer. You're also out of here. Well, these were the two event dice. We still have the four for Gimli, which will move him one, two, three, and four. Okay, next turn. Again, we are moving this down here. This player only has Arwen. In theory, they could use Gandalf, but yeah, Gandalf is still not here. And yeah, the two black dice. I think in this case, we will go for this. And the question now really is, I mean, we want to make it with some characters into Helm's Deep just to heal. And I think in this case, Let's go for maybe Legolas. Yeah, let's try that. Four is good. Four is actually very good. And I think Legolas's two is also pretty amazing. Ah, uh, is it? No, it's not. Ah, uh, this is bad. Mm, bad timing. A one would have been better. A one would have been much better. But the three is also terrible because this means we have to move one, two, three. So, ah, boy, it's all bad. Mm. I mean, we could move them to Helm's Deep. The problem... Ah, I hate this game. Am I more concerned with Nazgul or not? I think... No, I'm okay. I will use the three now here, and I think we will, we are going to use Arwen here. I think so. Um, yeah, then we have to continue to roll. I think let's keep this, and maybe in this case, I don't know. Let's go with Gimli. Yeah, let's let's try that. So we either want a one on on either of those two. This would be amazing, actually. A one on either of those dice, and also both of them. Oh, that's cool, but we have to fight again. Oh my. What's going on? Um, I think in this case, I, d 
don't really care too much, but I think let's go for Legolas. That worked out pretty okay, actually. So first of all, we are using the four, which means we can move Legolas zero, one or two spaces. That's why I wanted the one, because this gives us one, two spaces in here. Cool, I take that. Then we have the three for the ring bearer. So let's move that over here a little bit. One, two, three, we would place another, but I think now I'm somewhat getting concerned. So I will play Arwen, which allows us to ignore this icon here. Okay, but again, Arwen is also out of here. Then again, we have to fight with the two right now. Yeah, that's the one problem here. They are not helping us. So purple is out. So it's basically those guys here again, and we have to fight again. And red. Red is perfect. We have Gimli. Gimli is ahead of us. Perfect. So we are not suffering any damage here. And that's nice. Now we are moving Legolas into Helm's Deep because we made it exactly. We are getting one life point back. Okay, that somewhat worked in our favor. But I think then we are immediately moving. Yeah, we can directly move into the next round. So we will have to use this. I think now we have to start moving Mary and Pippin. And maybe let's also use Aragorn. Maybe we get some life points back. Let's see about that. So let's roll that. And it's a six and a six. Oh boy, <laughs> it's okay. This is okay. The blue, the two is okay. This is terrible, of course. So this is that. We are moving them and maybe are we going to end it? Or are we trying? No, let's try also Gimli. Let's try that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not looking pretty. Let's see. And it's a three. Three is okay. Yeah, then we could move. No, I think that's at least this is okay. But we could really again lose an awful lot of health points if we can. I mean, it's it's confidence, faith, or moral, morale, you, you name it. So it's basically the six, which are oh, these are the Urukai again. So we have to roll for each Urukai. And as a little reminder, we have four of those in Isengard. We haven't defeated a single one. So yeah, it's the first one. This is good, they're on top of us. So we are basically defeated one of them. So we take him off right away. But then we have three more to go. And no matter how many fights we win, we will only remove one normal Euro Kaiser. But we have three more fights, right? Yeah, they are not helping. So this is out. Um, this was two, then we have two more. And the last one, oh gosh, this is so bad. This is so, so, so bad. Ridiculous. But okay, we still have Aragorn. He's making it one, two spaces into Helm's Deep. Again, it's the exact number, so we're getting one life point back. The three here would allow us to move Gimli zero, one or two spaces. In this case, we need to move him one, of course, which also means he's making it into Helm's Deep. So we are back here. So that's at least something, right? And then it's one which moves Mary and Pippin one space ahead. Okay, that was that. Not too terrible, but really this one fight against Urukai, this is not really going our way. So then, yeah, I think we are moving this down here, which means neither Eowyn nor Elrond is currently available. That's that. We will, yeah, I think in this case, we will have to move basically both of them right here. Let's do that. And four and two, I think, yeah, definitely the four here. It's not, and the two again, oh, and the six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we will go with the six in this case. We are not healing, but again, the two would bring us here with um, Sam and Frodo. So let's not do that. Uh, then we will hold on to this. And here again, it doesn't matter. Let's simply go with Legolas again. Three is okay, three is okay. And I think the three here is also not too terrible. No, I think we can manage. Um, the four would allow us to move Legolas um, some space. I think for now we will not move him at all because the ring bearer will not make it to Helm's Deep. Otherwise, I think I would have continued to move. But in this case, let's not do that. The six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Still, they're not helping, but at least they have already made it. They're on their way to Gondor, Minas Tirith. Then we have the three, which would allow us to move 
Gimli, 0, 1 or 2 spaces, we will also leave him here. And then last but not least, it's uh, Frodo and Sam, 1, 2, 3, one more step away from Helm's Deep, one more step away from getting Gandalf's help again. Awesome. Let's move everything back. Let's create our dice pool. Again, this has to be this. I think not so much this in here. Let's use, let's use Aragorn. Why not? He wants to move to Gondor, right? That makes sense. And okay, what do we have? The three, the five? No, that's to Urukai. We don't want the five. That's the three. Hmm. No matter what we are rolling, I think, I think we can move Aragorn ahead and simply hoping for a one on this die. We will make it to Hamsteep no matter what anyway, but in this case we might as well continue and hope for a one. And no, it's the opposite of course. The four is okay, I guess, and I think we will also move Legolas. Yeah, nothing we can do. It wasn't great, but at least we didn't suffer any ill effects here. So first of all, we have the three. Again, this allows us to move Gimli, and we can move Gimli two spaces. There is no reason not to do that. Then we have four Aragorn. One, two, three, four. Also not a problem. Again, we will be on our next target. Then we have the four. This is Legolas. We can also move him up to two spaces away. And with a six, yeah, unfortunately, we have not made it to Helm's Deep, which means we are taking the topmost card from the Gandalf deck and are removing it from the game unseen. But this basically ends our yeah, journey to Helm's Deep. We can take Gandalf marker off finally. And then, yeah, we are basically um, preparing for the next goal, which is Gondor. Okay, here we are. Here we have some more Urukai. Um, this is nice. If we would have would have would have done much better for the Urukai, this would have given us one life point back. Unfortunately, we are terrible. But okay, we can trigger this more in one. So let's see. Here we have Grond. That's simply three life points. Um, and yeah, we would remove that card. Here we have Sauron's Eye. This is basically moving the ring to this space here if you're triggering it. Then we have Tree Beard. He comes with two effects. We can either heal twice, which is nice, or we can place the token for Tree Beard, which is this one here to Isengard, and then we can leverage him. We will deal with that when we get there. So yeah, I think that was that. We are moving the player marker down, or the book down, and then we are rolling some dice, right? Um, hmm, this case we could even consider. I think I want Aragorn. He couldn't make it to Gondor to heal us. And then maybe Merry and Pippin for now? We have to roll three dice anyway, so I think let's do that. And oops, oh, that's the one or a six. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm, they could be both good or bad. So do I go? I, th I go with a low value here. Why not? <laughs> I don't know why, but let's go with a low value. And then the four would move it to a Nazgul and the six would move it past Gondor. Now it's both again terrible, terrible. Yeah, I think we have to go with the six for Aragorn here. Then it's this and that. And I think let's go with Gimli next. Yeah, why not? Doesn't matter too much. That's the two. Oh, that's the Urukai. Yeah, that's that's not pretty. So we could lose the game right here, actually. The two is bad. The four is bad. Okay, it's all bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Mm, okay, wait a second. We can. We can now debate if we want to use our Gandalf card. Um, and I think this one here, after a die roll, that we can basically put the black die on any side we choose. And I think let's do that. We will go with a five in here. So this gives us Treebeard for sure. Still, I'm not so sure which one to take. Um, I think let's go with the Nazgul for now because this is something that we can typically much better dodge. So we have used this Gandalf card here. This is out of here can't use it anymore, but I think still think it was worth it. Okay, let's resolve the first die here. That's the one. So let's see what we get. Oh boy. Again, some more orcs. We have to fight them. Okay, right now everyone is supporting us, so that's at least a small relief. <laughs> One and two. 
Um, yeah, in theory, we could now use this fella here. Um, we can remove one encounter card after we have encountered it. And I think here it might really make sense. Let's do that. So let's use our, we haven't used our Gandalf card, so I think let's use it. I think let's use it. Um, this is terrible and we're really losing life points like crazy. Then we have to go with a six here, which moves Aragorn. One, two, three, four, five and six past Gondor. So he's no longer helping us. Then we are triggering the five and that gives us tribute. So we can immediately heal two points basically making it here or we are putting this next to Isengard. But I think right now we quote unquote only have two folks in here. So if we wouldn't have lost that fight just now, I think I would have rather decided to place tribute to Isengard. And then what, what he does basically when we fight um, Urukai and Isengard, then after each successful fight, we would be able to remove uh, uh, Rurukai there, including the leader. So that's pretty nice. But I think in this case, we will immediately use Tribute to heal up. I think that's what we need to do. It's a bit short-sighted maybe, but I think, yeah, that's the best we can do. And then we have four here, which is equally bad. One, two, three, and four. This is another Nazgul. So three more to go here. And then we have lost as well. Wow, this is insane and brutal. But okay, let's move back to player one up here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We need some dice. Where are the dice? Ah, oh, here's the other black die. Um, hmm. I think, I think, I think we want, yeah, let's go with Gimli again. We want to heal up, right? That's the idea. And then maybe Legolas. Yeah, let's try that. Three and three. <laughs> I think, hmm. We could re-roll one of the threes here because we would lose three life points. This is Grond. I think we have to do that actually. Yeah, I think we will roll that die again. So Elrond is gone as well. Thanks so much. And let's see what we get. Ideally a one or a five. A one, okay, I take the one for sure. So that's much better, we will place it here. Then we still have those two. The four is terrible here. Yeah, this gives us another Nazgul. We can't go with another. We, ah, God, it's so bad. We have to go with Gimli. <laughs> we are so dead. Um, then this is this. Um, and I guess, yeah, we have to move Merry and Pippin. Yeah, yeah, I think there is nothing else. <laughs> Of course, it's the three again, of course. The six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. At least we are not losing anything. Yeah, we have the four is another Nazgul. We can't do that. So first of all, we are resolving the one. The one, I think that's the first time we are seeing this, actually. At least, I think, is this one here, right? Um, so it's zero, one, or two for the ring bearer. So I think in this case, we are moving Frodo and Sam two spaces ahead. And we do that because we know we are going to move Merry and Pippin afterwards. So then it's the four, which is, yeah, Gimli, one, two, three, and four. So they're basically both out of range, so they're not going to help us in a fight, but I think there is no immediate fight. We have the three, which is Grond, right? Three life points we are losing here. One, two, and three, but at least the card is out. I take that, and then we still still have the six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Unfortunately, there is no seven on this die. Okay, that was pretty, that was a pretty terrible turn actually. But yeah, we have to carry on. Let's do some cleanup here. Let's remove it all. Three more steps, by the way, and we have lost. So that's the two here. Mm, I think we have to move Legolas, and I think in this case, we may want to try Merry and Pippin again. We only have this one Gandalf Kati, but I think I want to hold on to this for now. Five and five, which I think is okay. We can live with that. The six is pretty good. Okay, we can move Legolas into Gondor, or Minas Tirith rather, actually. So that's not too bad. And then it's this, and yeah, definitely the ring bearers, right? 
So let's see. Uh, we have to reroll. This was really cocked. I have no clue what this was. This was a three, which is okay because that's Gimli. And yeah, the one here. Awesome. Okay, we are getting some life points back. So the game is taunting me for sure. So the five will allow us to move Aragorn. We could move him two spaces. And again, because he's already ahead, I think there's no reason not to move him two spaces in here because he's already gone anyway. So I think that's fair. Then we have the six here, which is moving Legolas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. We're getting one life point back, back to Sauron's eye. Then we have the three for Gimli. We are moving him also. One, two spaces here. And we have the one for Merry and Pippin. So bam, they also made it into Gondor. So we are getting yet another life point back. Okay, we are still very much alive. Haha, -ha, gang, take that. So let's move back to player one who still has Eowyn, which, who doesn't really help us in this um, chapter, basically. So yeah, it's definitely those two. And for the others, I don't think it matters too much. So I guess we are going with, uh, I don't know. Aragorn, yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Four and three. Yeah, this is definitely three for now. Um, and six. Oh, six is good, right? One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, cool. We're getting the last Gandalf card, I believe. Cool stuff. Then it's this. And yeah, then we can also move Gimli. Okay, nice. Oh, gosh, of course it's the Urukai. And here I think it's the three for Gimli. First of all, we can move Gimli, right? With the three here. We don't want him here and we also don't want him here actually because we are resolving a three afterwards. So we are saying, okay, we are not using this die. Then we have the six. I think this is kind of okay. No, this is pretty good actually. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we are making it into Gondor. That's the last Gandalf card. We are not getting any more cards in Minas Tirith and this one here. We can have a look at the top card of the event. Ah, this one is clarified. It says, take a look at the topmost card of the encounter deck and remove it from the game. So basically this is a card that you're using before you are preparing for the next uh, destination. So you shuffle this, take the topmost card and then you can remove it out of the game. So that's pretty helpful. Um, if we get a truly terrible card, we can get rid of it. Yeah, why not? Why not? So we have this card and we can still use it to whatever, dodge a fight or so. Uh, we still have to um, finish our turn. We still have the two, which again are the Urukai. We have three Urukai in Isengard. The problem is though, we only have basically yeah, two companions that are helping us. That's the case. So let's see, first fight, you can see that. No, that's not good enough, so we are losing it. Okay, second fight. Now, okay, now we could use hmm, Gandalf's card, and I think we won't. So we are using this Gandalf card here to turn this into a success, which means we can remove one Urukai here. But we still have a final fight, and this is, yeah, this is Legolas, he's helpful, awesome. Okay, we only suffered one wound here. I think we can take that. And then we have to resolve the three for Gimli, which will move him one, two, three. So he's one step away from Minas Tirith. Ah, uh, Minas Morgul. What am I talking about? Minas Tirith is up here, of course. Nice, 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 nice. So again, we have to basically, this was the last card, by the way, on the six, a Nazgul, okay. So we are setting up for the next round. So I think now, just to show you everything that the game has to offer. I will use Gandalf's vision here in order to stage the deck somewhat. So I think now we have used four out of five cards. We have lost one, but still not too bad. Here is the Minas Morgul deck. Let's give it another quick shuffle here. And then we are basically looking at the topmost card and that's Muma kill. So we have to fight them twice. I don't know, let's remove it. I don't know if there are worse cards in the deck or not. I, but I think yeah, we will find out. So now I will set up the rest of the new destination Minas Morgul and I believe aren't there only red cards in that last normal destination Haradrim basically two wounds army of the dead we can 
Not too bad, so we can cover up another card. Maybe that's not too bad. Sauron's mouth, so we can we have to basically fight uh, until we have won two fights per uh, in, in a row. And then here we have the Witch, Witch King of Angmar, who could help us, or Ewin could help us with this one here. Okay, yeah, I think it was now the other player here whose turn it was. Hopefully I'm not messing this up. So yeah, let's roll some dice. Definitely those two. We will, no, not this. Um, we will definitely Legolas and yeah, Mary and Pippin, I believe. Yeah, we have to move them. Uh, we have to re-roll that die. Okay, that's a five now. Mm, not cheating him. Oof, the two is to have the five is the Witch King of Angmar. The problem now, this is not really the timing problem because Eowyn is with the other player. I don't want to trigger the five at this point in time. No, let's not do that. So we are doing this. Yeah, I think we are going down like flies. And then, yeah, we are definitely moving Legolas two spaces. Mm, so this is this and that. And then we can maybe now let's do use Gimli. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. If you're rolling a one, no, that's not good. Oh gosh, oh gosh, this is terrible. The three is also terrible. The two is not pretty. Um, but yeah, let's let's simply go crazy. Um, this might be yeah, this might be our demise actually. So the two we already know those are the Haradrim. So we're losing one two spaces. The problem is the card stays where it is. Yeah, it's not getting removed. Awesome. Then we are moving Legolas two spaces, which is cool. Then we have the four here, which is Sauron's mouth. So we have to again fight until we won two fights in a row. Good thing is right now everyone is helping us. So this is basically our first combat. This was a success. Okay, awesome. And second one, awesome, okay. These were two successes in a row, so we have gotten rid of him. That was nice, okay. We are getting some, oof, some really, oh, that's, that's really nice, some comfort. Problem is, now we are moving Mary and Pippin, one, two, three spaces, which means we are adding another Nazgul. Hooray! Okay then, back to player one. Mm, I think this is okay. And let's, again, let's go with Gimli. You really want, in this last destination, last normal destination, you really want to move as many of your companions into Minas Morgul because this gives you a jump start um, towards your way to Mount Doom. And this is very thematic, actually, where they are basically riding to Minas Morgul just to buy them more time. And that's exactly what's happening here. That's really nicely done, actually. So yeah, let's do that. And here I kind of hope for a five. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, no, that's not a five, but that's a four. A four is also good enough. The one here, the two is okay for our two friends. Yeah, I think that's not too bad. And maybe Aragorn. Yeah, let's do that. And still not a five. Oh, it's the Haradrim again. Oh, we are losing. I think we have just lost the game. I think so. I actually do think so. Does this make a difference? No, it doesn't. So we can't. Ah, I don't know. Let's go with Gimli. But again, I think it doesn't matter. So first of all, we can move Legolas two spaces or up to two spaces. So let's do that. One and two. Then we are moving our friends, Mar uh, Frodo and Sam two spaces and then we have the two which are the Haradrim here which says yeah we are losing one and two do, 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 do. yeah we haven't even made it to Minas Morgul that's really really almost embarrassing here we have some more Urukai on this on the one here we have Denitor yeah, that's also a nasty one which basically he's a little bit of a chaos it's not terrible but depends a little bit he requires you to reroll colored dice that you already have uh, placed onto the book so again also not too terrible but can be pretty detrimental actually yeah that was basically that um maybe let me quickly tell you how things would have progressed. So again, we would have, or the, the ring bearers would have need to make it to Minas Morgul here. Again, they have to stop here and from there they would continue. 
Normally when you when your companions make it to a space with the exact amount you, you heal. In this case they are kind of placed aside and they will basically get you one step on the Minas Morgul. So let's say um, what I don't know, Gimli would have traveled too far, maybe the same for Legolas, but maybe Mary and Pippi and uh, Pippin and um, Aragorn would have made it with the exact time. What this would have meant is as we are now getting one, two steps here onto our way to Mount Doom, though so this is basically their job done. And then from there, we would now basically continue our move towards Mount Doom. In this case, every player would simply roll one black die and would resolve the card, the encounter card down here. And after we have encountered that card, we would be moving one step further. And if we would have made it to Mount Doom, we would have immediately won the game. There is one card in the deck though. I think this is Shylop, I believe in, in English. In, in German, it's Kangra. Um, she gives you a wound and then you are not allowed to move afterwards. And of course, none of these cards are ever getting removed until, unless you're using a Gandalf card. Then what do we have here? The power of the ring where you have to roll one to five, nothing happens on a six, you would lose five points. Hooray. Then we have Gollum's Treachery, where you would lose one. Here we have Shylock's Sting. We have also another Gollum card, but we also have good things. We have the Eagles, they will heal us. And we also have Galadriel's Wile, which heals us twice, actually. And yeah, that's basically how you are playing this game. You are not using any of your companions anymore, at least non not none of the standees. Of course, you can still use your cards if you still happen to have one. And I think during the, my, I think my very first time I played this game we have Faramir with us and Faramir allows you to move two to four spaces which is of course pretty insane when you make it to Mount Doom that is. So at that very first time we were pretty successful actually. And yeah that's how you play or basically don't play Lord of the Rings um, Adventure to Mount Doom. Honestly, I do enjoy this and especially that I lost this here on camera. Really, it is, again, it's very, very swingy. But I think for now I have also lost more than I actually won, at least as far as I can remember now, which again in my case is a good thing. There is some decision making, of course, it's, it's definitely highly random depending on the dice, but there is always sometimes these agonizes choices that you have to make. Do I go to a Nazgul? Do I take another wound? Or do I trigger a bad card down here, an encounter card? So that part is very, very much enjoyable. I really do like this. Of course, again, I already mentioned this during my very first video. Um, the variety in those cards, I think this could have been much more. Again, it's seven cards per, let's say, sub deck here. Um, if they would have, whatever, introduced 10 or so, it wouldn't have killed them. Yes, maybe balancing wise, this could have been a problem. I don't know, but I think in respect to replayability, it would have been much nicer. And similarly for the Gandalf card, it would be much nicer having, I don't know, maybe 10 Gandalf cards and you're only using five of those each time you're playing the game. And maybe also considering individual player powers to some extent, maybe saying something like, hey, I'm in theory controlling Legolas, but everyone can else can move Legolas. But if I'm moving Legolas, I get something special out of this, for example. So stuff I could imagine here. But anyway, I really think this is a very enjoyable family game and a good gateway game into cooperative gaming because the rules are really crystal clear in this game, I must say, I think so at least. Um, so it's really a good good and nice, nice game that you can enjoy with your friends and your family. Definitely also, again, also with gamers. That's It's not it's really not boring. I'm a gamer and I really enjoy playing this game. But yeah, it's definitely on the lower end. Nothing compared to The War of the Ring, obviously. <laughs> or Journeys in Middle-earth or beasts like this. Yeah, anyway, let me know what you think. And I really do hope you enjoyed my little playthrough here of, Lords of Lord of the Rings Adventure to Mount Doom. Huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members out there. You guys are truly amazing. Really appreciate all your support. And yeah, with that being said, hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And yeah, until then, bye bye.